Okay, so I was in great shape for everything except Rotom Wash. Sweet, perfect. What was your backup plan for Rotom Wash? Mm, I... What was your backup plan for Rotom Wash? Listen, I didn't really have a plan. Oh, come on. My opponent opens with Grimmsnarl and Rotom, the Pokemon that I did not want to see here. <laughs> I lead with Incineroar, Regieleki, going for a more passive setup. Now, as you saw from the opening, Rotom Wash is the only Pokemon that I wasn't really prepared for. So I decided to attack it with Gusto. I swapped in my Kyogre to set the rain and tried to attack Rotom with Thunder. Fortunately, it is going to protect, leaving me in a super, super awkward spot. Grimmsnarl sets the light screen, and I don't really have anything else to show for my turn. I think, what better way than to just attempt the same thing? However, this time with my Kyogre, I'm going to swap out for Landorus because I feel pretty sure, I feel pretty sure that Grimmsnarl is going to try and Thunder Wave that slot. As it turns out, I was right. We're going to watch uh, Rotom get big for a minute. This was genuinely horrifying for me. I didn't expect the Dynamax this early. Grimmsnarl will Thunder Wave. It doesn't affect the Landorus, so I'm feeling exceptionally clever. However, I only get a little bit of damage onto Rotom Wash before I just lose Regieleki for nothing. And unfortunately, that's how the first couple turns go. I put in Incineroar, and we are good to go. I decide on this turn, since I'm already on the back foot, I'm going to try to mitigate what my opponent is doing. I will attempt to fly to dodge the geyser, and fingers crossed that maybe they aim for that slot. And I choose to snarl with Incineroar with the hopes of lowering that special attack. Granted, with the Assault Vest and Special Defense Investment, Incineroar should have survived this, except for the case where Rotom has significant special attack investment in nature, and unfortunately, in this case, it does. For that last turn, you could make a case to fake out the Grim Snarl and use a max Rockfall against the Rotom. The damage, unfortunately, wouldn't be super significant even without the Reflect, but the weather change would be. It would allow either Landorus or Incineroar to survive an extra turn of Rotom's Dynamax depending on which one it targets. I will bring in Kyogre for the next turn and starting with Landorus in the air. I decided to protect with Kyogre knowing that the Thunder Wave was coming. However, in this case, given I'm so far behind, it was probably more worthwhile to go ahead and risk that paralysis in order to get a water spout off. Granted, I do get the critical hit against Grimmsnarl, KOing it, so woohoo, we get out with at least a win. A win there. But Rotom is in fact waiting for Landorus to land just so it can get smoked. For this last stretch of the game, Rillaboom is revealed to us all but sealing my Kyogre's poor sad fate. Rotom will get small. At this point, it's all but over. I make the only play that I possibly can. I Dynamax Kyogre in order for it to survive this Grassy Glide, and then I do a Max Hailstorm into that Rillaboom slot. Fortunately, because of that light screen, Rillaboom is able to survive this, and from there on, I am just trying to chain protects together in order to stall out that terrain. Unfortunately, it doesn't really do me any good. I'm basically pinned down by both Grassy Glide and Thunderbolt. But I do think it's important to really try and play to your outs, even if they don't look super realistic. But that does wrap it up for the whale and the game. All right, time for everyone's favorite part. We summarize the beatdown. We summarize the sad defeat in order to figure out why I lost. I knew from the get-go that Rotom was going to be a problem, and it's very clear from the way I handled that first couple of turns. I was choosing violence. I tried to thunder it twice in a row. I even swapped into Kyogre for the rain to give the thunder more accuracy. But what I should have done instead was actually light screen. That would have done a lot more to mitigate the stuff that Rotom was doing instead of what I did, which was try and attack it a couple of times. I ultimately only dealt him some damage and had nothing else to show for it, whereas Light Screen would have been paying dividends for several turns down the road. Secondly, Dynamaxing Landorus in the mid-game was a choice that I had. It was risky, and it wasn't likely to last the full three turns, especially because Rotom was already popping off and ruining my life. 
it would have been a better option than leaving it up to Kyogre, because in the end game, Dynamax helped it survive a grassy glide, and then it did literally nothing else. There was no follow-up, I just got trashed, it didn't really make a difference. Third, and finally, <laughs> bringing my Kartana would have been an excellent compliment to Landorus. I even said this on the team select when I was picking my Pokemon. I said, wow, Landorus looks excellent against five of my opponent's six Pokemon. And then I said to myself, should I bring Kartana to deal with the Rotom? And I said, no, like a ding dong. And that's why I lost. And that's a wrap for this week's episode of Why Did I Lose? Stay tuned, because I have a little teaser clip from the next episode right after this. I'd love to hear what you thought of the episode in the comments. Also, if you've been enjoying the series and want to continue to support it, you can like the video and you can subscribe to the channel. Both of those things help me out a great deal and they would be super appreciated. Last but certainly not the least, if you want to catch some of these games live, see the ridiculousness in action, I stream every Thursday evening at 8.30 p.m. Central Time over at twitch.tv slash Bowerdad. Additionally, I have some other social channels here if you would like to follow me on those platforms as well. I hope everyone has a fantastic week. And without further ado, here is a teaser from next week's episode. Are they doing are they doing switcher reject button stuff? Cause that would be embarrassing.